My name is Tim, and this is my aha moment. I always loved to eat. Uh, couldn't get enough food. Uh, Any time I went to the restaurant, I ordered the biggest portion I could. Never gave any thought about exercising. Put it off whenever I could. My folks would get after me about it, especially my mom. You know, you need to lose weight. You need to join a gym. And it's like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, whatever. You know, just kind of brushed it off and ignored it. And I did that for the longest time till about a year ago when I realized just bending down to tie my shoe, I had to change how I did it. I couldn't get over my, bend around my stomach to reach down to do it. Or I live in an apartment when I would go to take trash to the dumpster. The one time I realized walking back, I was awfully winded and I was huffing and puffing quite a bit and that shocked me. But the third part which did it was when my dad was prescribed oxygen uh, to use after any kind of strenuous exercise. And the combination of the three events, it just really tripped the trigger that I needed to stop stalling and get on with doing something about it for myself, for them. So I started taking the stairs wherever I could, uh, parking farther away from the door when I went to the grocery store or when I went shopping walking then, mixing in salads. After I started the walking, I've noticed since then my waist size has come down two sizes, four inches. Um, my shirt size is down one size, almost two. And I've noticed I don't, my stamina is a lot better and I feel a lot better about myself. I feel a lot more self-confidence than I had before. I guess really the lesson is that you can't really stall on things like that. If you put off and put off, uh, one day you run out of chances to put off and you have to do something about it. If you don't, you may never get the chance to do something about it.